Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to set bidding adjustments for your Google Shopping campaigns. Maybe your products sell better on a Sunday, or maybe shoppers in certain cities convert higher. Bidding adjustments allow us to tell Google to bid higher or lower based on these variables. This allows us to get much more granular with how much we pay for our traffic. This is a key part of optimizing our Google Shopping campaigns to generate more profits. I'm going to show you exactly how we do it for our own accounts and our own clients. There are three ways to adjust our bids, by time, by location, and by audience. I'm going to start with time and show you a feature that not many store owners actually know about or use in their dashboard. Okay, so here we have a simple campaign with very simple data and metrics in it. I'm going to go to this segment button right here. Note how many segments there are here to check by. We're just going to look at time for now. So we can check by hour of the day to see how your campaigns have performed. Of course, zero means midnight, one means 1 a.m., all the way to 23, meaning 11 p.m. here. We want to study this data as it accumulates over time in our campaigns. Now, you've got to be very careful and have a lot of data that you can analyze through. We're just using this as an example to simply show that we've generated no conversions here between midnight and 1 a.m. We see the same thing for 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. and so on. Now let's look at the other time segment option here, which is day of the week. So if we go here, we'll see how our campaigns have performed on days of the week. And we see here that we've never made a sale on a Sunday. Once again, as a disclaimer, you should not make decisions until you have enough data. This is just example data. But if we did see this and it was enough data, we'd see that we've got very poor performance on Sundays. This means we might want to make an adjustment to our bids at that time. The way that we'll do this is on the menu on this side. We're going to go to audiences, keywords, and content here. Then we'll go to add schedule. Here, you want to click edit add schedule. There are a few ways to do this that are pretty self-explanatory once you're here. You can just choose just weekdays or just the weekends, or you can choose individual days. So here I'm going to choose Sundays because I know I want to adjust that. Then I'm going to add Mondays to Fridays and also Saturdays to be covered. Any days or times that I leave out will not get advertising. So I want to be very careful. Now that these are added in a way that makes sense for me, I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to go to Sunday here and do a bid adjustment. I'll select decrease here if we want to lower it. And let's say we didn't want to advertise at all during a Sunday, we would set it to 100%. Or if we wanted to do a more modest 20% decrease, we would enter that and save. We now see this adjustment visually indicated here. And that's how you would alter this by the days. Now, of course, you can also alter your ad scheduling by the time of the day. So if I only wanted to show from 7 a.m. to maybe 7 p.m. on all days, I would save it like this. And now we see that outside of that time, on all the days of the week, we're not showing ads, but within these times of the day, we will be. We won't have any data yet because we've still just set this as an ad schedule. However, going forward, it will accumulate the data for us. And perhaps we'll come to learn that Thursdays are our best day. If so, we might want to increase bids by 10% right here to give our ads a little boost. Okay, now let's look at bid adjustments by location. We're starting on the campaign page. You'll want to expand the audiences, keywords, and content here if it isn't already. I recommend that you look at this data often to stay on top of how you're faring in different regions. At this view, we just see the country level, and we're only targeting the US with this campaign. So I'm going to click into this and it's going to ask me what I want to narrow it down by. You will see all the different options that you can narrow it down by. Let's just keep it simple and go by states. Now you'll get a data breakdown for how this campaign has performed by each state. You can see that we've already excluded Illinois previously. Let's be simple here and say our measurement for success is just how many sales we've made. By this measure, I see that Alaska has generated no sales. So we don't want to have Alaska showing anymore. Or maybe we just want to show fewer ads in Alaska. Well, that's what the bid adjustments are for. Let's select Alaska as a target and choose this option. Add targets and set bid adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and decrease it by 50% and now hit apply. 
Okay, we see here that we've now set Alaska for a minus 50% bid adjustment. Now let's talk about the final attribute that we can set a bid adjustment for in our Google Shopping campaign. We go from here, the campaign view, and we'll open up the audiences, keywords, and the content section again, and then go to audiences. It will show us our audience segments that we have when we open up this table. We see our audience segments that are being tracked according to their performance. For this example, we see that home decor enthusiasts has not done well as an audience. Therefore, we don't want to put as much into the bids as we do for the rest of the audiences. So we'll set this to our ad group view for the bid adjustment. Then we'll select the home decor enthusiasts and click edit. Then we'll decrease this by, let's say 35%. And that's how we do bidding optimizations for our Google Shopping campaigns. This video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. This is a free course that shows you everything you need to set up, optimize and scale your Google Shopping campaigns to over 100K per month. It's completely free, it's on our website. I'll leave a link to that down below, go and check it out. Also, if you're already generating 20K per month in sales, and you need help getting to seven figures and beyond, book a time with my team and I. We use Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimizations to scale dozens of stores every single month, and we'd love to do the same for you. Book a time, let's chat, and talk about how we'll do this for your store. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.